day one, Lake Seminole starts here in about 37 minutes. Boat number 50 today, due back at four o'clock. Got to make a long run. Everybody's got to make a long run. You know, it's 20 miles to get to any good fishing stuff. Any of the stuff that's probably going to win anyways. So, lots of boats going to be running down that river today. Got one good area to start in. Two or three more backup areas. And one decent pattern that's decent. Also got a three pounder and probably about a three and a quarter, three and a half on bed. Other than that, a bunch of small ones on bed that I have found. So, Today is day four of practice on Lake Seminole, is how I'm going to look at it. Tell me what it would mean to, you to do well in this tournament. It would make it a lot easier on the rest of the year. Because we had a good one at Okeechobee, we have a good one here. That'll make it where, you know, for the rest of the year, we just got to be mediocre to make the classic. But we ain't looking at that. We're, we're shooting for AOI this year. A-O-Y. That's what we're trying to do. now. I may screw it all up today, but I don't plan on it. Got to move around, jump around, figure out how to get some bites today. Game time decisions. It's changing fast out here though. So. It's 11 o'clock, you have no fish. Are you going to be stressing or are you going to be calm? I'm going to be pointing that sucker up to Chattahoochee if it's 11 o'clock and I ain't got no, no keepers. You're going to be trying a lot to the small little local area? Yeah, I'm going to be trying to make it hard from here. <laughs> It's 11 o'clock and I got nothing. We gone. Gonna let you know. We gone. Yeah, they got right at the end there. Yeah, so I got one little, I've got one little pattern that I'm going to ruin for the first few hours, first two hours for sure. And then if it's not working, we're going to go looking, you know, we're just going to jump around, bounce around, use this as a lot of a practice day, but hopefully our starting spot, we can catch two or three nice ones and that'll kind of free us up to try to make some adjustments on the water today and try to figure out exactly where these fish are moving to because this is going to be a tournament of moving with the fish. So catch them early is going to be really important so we can be able to move. Good amount of time. Big. Get up in here, baby.
Mm-hmm. Bit it three times. He looks bigger than that, but he's just under four. Scale ain't working. Dang it, man. Be over three. Oh, yeah. Oh man, don't do that no more. See, I ain't hooked one good yet, except that frogfish. Two and three quarter. That came up here and showed itself, didn't he? He's short. Two and a half pounder. We'll take it. That's why you shake them off. That's why you shake them off in practice right there. We got a little swim jig. Came up and got it one time. Had that fish bite yesterday. Seven, three and a half pounder. I don't know how big he is.
most beautiful bite you've ever seen. That's fun. He's a three something. Yes. That's why you shake them bad boys off. One, two, three, four. Give me a little bit for a fun bite one time. I hope you got that on video. So that sucker came out there and got it. Braid, 7.6 rod. I'll take me some of that right there. My old rapid scale out, see what's going on with him. Probably another two and a half. Two five. Give me a little bit for a daggum frog bite. most of the day today right at 18 it was fun had a lot of fun Classic qualifier, get loud for Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Kyle Welcher, my fish here today. Good start to the season last week, and looks like it's going to keep rolling here this week. Five fish day number one, Kyle Welcher. 18 pounds, five ounces inside the top 10 in eighth place currently. Okay, let's get it. Got a little time on my hands with the wristwatch. I don't got Get loud for Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Eighteen five and another good start to this event. You gonna be happy with that? Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take eighteen pounds after my practice. Like going into today, I didn't even know if I was gonna get a bite. So it actually turned into an extremely fun day. You know, I grew up on the Chattahoochee, which half of this lake is is the Chattahoochee River. But I decided not to go up there today, even though it feels like home up there. But we just had fun, jumped around, stayed shallow, and did what I like to do, and ended up with a good day. Keep it rolling. See you back here tomorrow.